Welcome to Tips for Clips. If you're a little scared to give yourself a haircut, here are some men's grooming hacks that'll actually make it look like you sorta of got a haircut. Taking you from looking like this to this. I'm gonna do this all with one set of clippers linked in my video description and three simple steps. The first step is gonna be just to lighten the bulk, get it all even. The key here is use the higher numbers on the thinner portions of your beard. So here I'm using a number four, and you saw that I put the lever in the long, open setting. And my cheeks have the thinnest hair, so I'm using a number four here. Nothing special to it, just go in all different directions. It's gonna be quite the transformation at the end. Here I'm using a number three, my chin has some thicker hair than my cheeks, so I'm using a lower number. The thicker the hair, the lower the number. You can see I'm just going all along different directions. Next, I'm using a number two on my mustache, because my mustache is thicker than my chin hair. I'm closing my eyes here because there's a tendency for uh, some of the hairs to flick into your eye. In just a sec, I get the clippers actually stuck in my nose. Um, and I left it in the video so that you know to be aware of it. There it is. So you know to be careful of something like that. And here's a number one clip. The thickest part of my beard is my soul patch. So I use the lowest number. I also am touching up the middle of my mustache, which is relatively thick, with the corner of my blade using the number one guard as well. So that was step one, making all of my beard hair one level. Step two now is shaping up. So I took off all of the clips, all of the guard attachments, and put the lever in the closed setting on my clippers. And you can see what a crisp job these clippers are doing. These are actually the first in a line of Tips for Clips products that we're releasing tipsforclipshair.com. Right here I'm shaping up the top of my mustache which makes for a much cleaner look and the side right there. All those stray hairs is what makes scruff look scruffy and what makes a uh, trimmed beard look much neater. And here I'm doing the bottom of my mustache as well. It's a relatively sharp blade. It cuts relatively low so you don't want to press too hard. You don't want to cut yourself but just hard enough to get the hair gone. I'm doing the bottom of my neck. You can see it's patchy down there. You can't really do much about it, but at least line it up straight. And here you want to keep it as natural as possible. I'm just following what naturally grows, and I think that's the best advice for men's grooming. Getting rid of any stray hairs, careful with this step. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, unless you have a very steady hand. This upcoming step is actually really important. Trim the hair right above your ear. For some reason, when you do so, it makes for a much more polished look. Also, shape up your sideburns front and back. A simple hack, but a big difference. Shape all that up. You see how I'm shaping up the side here? And then I'm also gonna shape up right above my ear and right in front of my ear. That extra hair really makes the difference between what looks like you just maybe sort of got a haircut and a much less polished look. So I really recommend this step. I'm going here with no clips so you have to be careful. You can use, you can put on guards or clips if you're not as confident. I'm just going very lightly, you see, to smooth that out and it makes such a big difference. Here's what I started with looks unwieldy, chaotic, and here's the polished look. And I barely did anything. It took maybe 10 minutes total, tops. So I hope this video has been helpful. These clippers are available for pre-order now, and you can use them obviously to give yourself a haircut. You should check out those videos of mine as well. I hope all are safe, and I hope that this video helps those trying to manage at home with some self-grooming. And I'll see you at the next video.